summarized here, pretty big charts. Why do you need a data management strategy? How, how are you going to deal with exponential growth of data? We talked about that. How are you going to infuse AI or cognitive capabilities into all of your data and provide access to the uh, it, citizen data scientists or users who don't necessarily have those skills to bring those capabilities to results today? And then how are you going to decide on the right place for your data? Is it the cloud? Is it on-prem? If it's on-prem, is it, is it Hadoop or just simple distributed? Where should your data live? The answer, how do you deal with these things? You need an open, not a closed platform as your backbone. That's the, that's the key, and that's what IBM views. Again, no product names, but that's what we view as our uh, core competency, is having an open platform. And from this open platform, think of that as the hub. Right? I was talking to someone about this the other day, yesterday. Think about this as the hub, and then you can use that open platform as your hub and then you can use spokes out just to maybe some closed technologies that you're interested in. Maybe TensorFlow, for example, right? Maybe Spark ML, for example. Oh, we had a transition there that I missed. Again, our strategy, it's not about one or the other. It's not about cloud or on-premise, and likely your strategy shouldn't be either. Again, when we talk about cloud or on-premise, I'm really, really surprised when someone says to me, e the corporate edict is to be 100% on cloud. Well, have you thought through all of your data Where's the right place for your data to live? Is it all on the cloud? It might not be, right? It's not about just traditional, relational, or open source, and I really liked Hadley's big graph there, and on the right was traditional, and on the left was the new stuff, and it, it went around like this. I thought that was really, really interesting. We live everywhere on that graph. So what are your essential elements? This is your wrap-up. This is your takeaway. I bring this back, and I use it as a general framework for how I'm thinking about hybrid data management. It's about access, providing access for all different types of data, all kinds of different types of analytics. And access to not just the, the big guys, not just the, the power users, but to democratize access to the citizen data scientists and the citizen analysts. These roles are growing at a much faster rate than traditional data scientists. It's about flexibility and scalability, and that's key. And that's why you should be thinking about the cloud, right? But it's not all about the cloud. You need to think about where the right home for your data is. And then finally, it's about infusing what we call AI machine learning, cognitive computing, bring it to your data.